A central Kentucky jail is closed after police believe it was set on fire. Both local and federal officials are now investigating the cause at the Rockcastle County Jail. Phil Pendleton is in Rockcastle with more on the fire. Words are hard to come by in describing what the jailer calls lunacy at the hands of some inmates. You know, there ain't no words to put to that. It's just ridiculous. You know, something like this even endangered their own lives. Jailer Carlos McClure says an argument over a television set about 3 a.m. in one cell led to the fire, but just how inmates got a hold of something to start a fire remains under investigation. Just don't know about these guys in there, you know. Kentucky State Police and the ATF are now investigating the cause of the fire. Many of the inmates are being questioned, and much of that is taking place at the Laurel County Jail, which has become a temporary home to dozens of men and women. We activated our special response team, uh, took about eight of our transport vans to the facility, and by about six o'clock this morning, we had removed all of those inmates and had them here and began the, uh, the booking process here at our own facility. The fire has shut down the facility for maybe as long as weeks, and as a result, about 10 people have lost their jobs. Now that's a sad thing. Here it is Christmas. You know, it's bad. You know, families have to go home. Most of the damage was limited to smoke and water. 13 people were taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation, but have since been released. In Rockcastle County, Phil Pendleton, the Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. State police tell us they do have suspects in the fire, but will be releasing that to the next grand jury for possible indictments.